Mr. Beast X Fortnite One Million Dollar Extreme Survival Challenge. So this is um, a, a collaboration between Mr. Beast and Fortnite. There's obviously a bunch of like Mr. Beast items that you'll be able to get, like his outfit, umbrella, things like that. But what caught my attention here was um, a prize of a million dollars for the highest scoring player in this extreme survival challenge. And what was interesting about it is it's only going to be live for three hours. Like you have to rack up points in that three hour period. And, and in the context of that Quebec lawsuit, I was like, this, this must contribute to, like if these kids are already addicted, can you imagine if you tell them only for three hours to be able to win the Mr. Beast challenge, you have to be on and playing this game. It, it sort of lends some credence, like they're not helping themselves. That was my take on this, but curious what you guys think or more generally on the Mr. Beast Fortnite collab. Jeff, Jim, I mean, this isn't a revolutionary take, but it's pretty crazy that like, you know, we've gotten to the point where you see influencers throwing their own basically like esports events. And I guarantee you that this will do better than like a ton of, you know, the different collaborations we've seen, you know, across the esports ecosystem. Like these influencers just have so much, so much power and so much brand appeal. Like if I had told you five years ago, like it's almost there's plenty of stats that are thrown around in esports to talk about how big the market is and like you know, the, oh, would you believe the League of Legends World Championship had a bigger viewing audience than the world, like the, the NBA Finals? Like, I feel like I saw that in every single pitch deck for like five years, uh, that stat. I feel like if someone had told you five years ago that like some influencer was going to be able to run a, profitably run an esports basically event where they give away a million dollars for a three hour event, you'd be like, what? Like some random guy? Like, that's incredible. Just if you think about it. it. Like, do you think, though, that uh, here's what the disconnect a little bit for me, and maybe I'm, I'm, I know I'm not the target audience for this. Like, I like Mr. Beast. I find his videos entertaining. I watch his videos. But I don't know if I would care to buy a Mr. Beast skin. Now, some of these you could earn, I'm sure, through this event. But, like, would I spend $10 or $20? I don't know if it's as aspirational as, like, Batman or, like, you know what I mean? Like. The, the, is, is this is this a skin is this is this drive participation because it's mr beast and he has a huge audience and he can put up a big prize or do you think people truly care about the the, the items here in the cosmetics talk about addictive gaming with children i think collecting a, an eclectic locker full of exclusive limited release skins is really valuable and something kids brag about that play Fortnite. You know, when when I played Fortnite, which we were, uh, my squad and I were, were pretty good at the time, not haven't played in years and probably a lot worse now. Um, you know, everyone, it was always what skin you can pull out of your locker to play with after the LTM was done that you can kind of flex on everybody else because you had the purple skeleton or, you know, the blue knight or whatever it was from early seasons. And then it changed to, you know, these LTM events where you get like the Jordan skin when they did the Jordan release or this Mr. Beast one, you know, I, I you guys uh, have levied in the past, I think some criticisms about Fortnite with their other activations. I have always praised them. I love this because you know, we've seen concerts, we've seen month long events, we've seen week long events. And now you have a three hour uh, challenge for a million dollars. I think they're continuing to change what they're doing to engage their audience and to get kids to play the game. Uh, they're expanding into the YouTuber kind of YouTube creator realm here and seeing what the overlap is. It's a data point for them. It's also a very clever, unique activation where in the past, I think it was mostly Twitch streamers as well as, you know, uh, non-endemic athletes or, or, or musicians um, that were activated in Fortnite or brands for that, for that uh, uh, same kind of line of thought there. So I don't know. I really like it. I think it's going to be a huge success. I think the million dollars is going to attract a lot of people. I think the fact that it's only three hours, you're going to see a crazy spike in Fortnite traffic for that one day and for that one activation. And I think they're going to do a lot more of these because it's going to be a low lift, easy to do thing that's different somewhat from their other LTMs that they've offered in the past. Uh, but again, full, fully biased and fully in support of Fortnite as Epic's one interesting property to me and, and the one thing one redeeming thing that they have going on over there i'm just i'm a huge fortnite fan you guys know that <laughs> some of the best gaming of my life was in 2018 
You're going to buy a Mr. B skin if it's for sale, Jimmy? Uh, I'm not personally of, I, I don't play Fortnite anymore, so I, I wouldn't because I, I stopped playing after uh, chapter, what was it, with that, that World End event, you know, and everyone watched a black screen for 24 hours. I haven't played since then. It got too sweaty for me. Also, I loved the old map. Um, shout out Lucky Landing for anyone that knows, you know. <laughs> but no, Paul, I, I, I don't buy Fortnite skins anymore. Chris says, um, are esports pros excluded from the event? Uh, Chris, based on the article, no, Def uh, they are not. And it says there's going to be millions of players competing for the this prize money. So uh, I think everyone's everyone's going to be trying for it. Um, the question, uh, sec other comment here, it says 10 years from now, non-cabin accounts buying Lotto Mega Bucks tickets on Fortnite Island with V Bucks. Yeah, um, you know that it's interesting, Chris, because the they could do the opposite of the cabin account, right? And actually make an account where you, you prove that you're over 18 and, and open up specific content to you for that. that that's interesting. Um, and, and it'll be interesting to see if they go down that path and this, this, this comes true. Um, you know, that may become a reality.